Jim Kane tried to lay the Hillary Health matter to the side right away, telling supporters and volunteers at Stivers High School there's nothing serious to be concerned about. Got overheated a little bit. I can tell you this, within a few minutes after I heard the news, I had reached out to communicate to her, and uh, she reached right back out to me and said, no, I'm going to be fine. I am very offended that she called us a basket of deplorables. Trump supporters seized on the Clinton health controversy and over her characterization of them at a private fundraiser. They sense a spike in momentum on the medical matter. It is in question. That's why I made a sign uh, uh, hospice for Hillary, but that's kind of uh, uh, far out and I, I don't want to go to her level. I believe now she's sick. She's frustrated because Mr. Trump is going to beat her because America wants the America that our forefathers founded. Inside, former Ohio Governor Ted Strickland, a longtime Clinton backer, said pneumonia and the rigors of campaigning are nothing to sneeze at, but that political enemies are always at work to try to make more of it than it usually is. Kane gave no timetable about Mrs. Clinton's return, only the need to balance her campaign desire with doctor's orders. As for whether the pneumonia diagnosis should have been revealed sooner. And I think the campaign said, in retrospect, we might do that one differently. But I think they, I think they made it plain pretty quickly yesterday in a, in a timely way. It's Tim Kaine saying Hillary Clinton is going to have to balance her workload with doctor's instructions. He would not hazard a guess as to how long she'd be off the campaign trail. Reporting live in Dayton, John London, WWT News 5.